hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a cozy fall cook with me slash what's for dinner today we're going to be making a super simple three ingredient bagel recipe along with what I call an everything but the kitchen sink sweet potato chili and my new favorite these barbecue meatloaf muffin cups Okay, so we're gonna start with the bagels. So all you really need for these is some plain Greek yogurt, some baking powder, and whatever flour of choice you would like to use. I personally chose the King Arthur gluten-free measure for measure flour. And basically these are as simple as they sound. All you're going to do is take your dry ingredients, mix them with your wet ingredients, knead them, and make them into a little bagel shape and I will show you exactly what I did. I also made some pumpkin bagels and I kind of altered the recipe just a tiny bit. So I will leave you the exact amounts that I used for both recipes in the description box below. So once you have it kneaded into a nice mixture, you'll want to put some flour down onto your surface and just give it a little bit of an extra knead to make sure that everything is incorporated evenly and that it's a nice consistent dough throughout. So now you're going to want to cut your dough in half and then take those two balls and cut those in half as well. And that's going to make four small bagels or you could just leave it as the two larger bagels. Okay, so once you move these to your cookie sheet, you're going to brush them with your egg and water mixture, and then you can add whatever toppings you would like. I also made a batch of pumpkin as well, um, and I put some everything but the bagel and then left some plain. All you're really doing differently for the pumpkin is just adding some vanilla as well as some pumpkin into it and taking out a little bit of the yogurt so there's not too much moisture in the dough. And you really don't have to be perfect with the egg mixture. Just get them nice and evenly brushed over the top and you should be okay. Okay. 
And you're going to want to bake these for about 20 minutes. These were gluten free, so they took a little bit longer, I will say, probably about 10 minutes longer than I had planned for them to be in. Um, but they turned out really good. The only thing I will say, they did not keep very well in the fridge. The next day we did eat them, but I would not eat them any longer than that. They were starting to get really hard already. I don't know if it was just the gluten free flour or if they just don't keep well. Um, I did keep them in the fridge though. And next up today is our everything but the kitchen sink sweet potato chili. If you've seen the sweet potato turkey chili recipe floating around, this is very similar but with a lot of added extras and a few secret ingredients. And as always, I will have all of the measurements below for you guys in the description box so you can recreate this at home. So quite often in my chili, I will use ground turkey as well as a ground sausage. And I like to use this Nature's Promise chicken sausage. And I normally go ahead and get all of my veggies chopped up first and then I saute my meat and go from there. And if you want this to be a dump and go type of recipe, that's fine too. Just take it and chuck it into your crock pot and turn it right on. I, however, like to give my veggies a little bit of a saute before I put them into the crock pot for just a little bit of extra flavor. And you don't want to cook them too much. You just want them to sweat a little bit and get a little bit of a nice brown on the outside. You can see here that they're not thoroughly cooked, but they have just a nice little golden brown on the outer edge of them. And once you're all set with that and you saute your meats, you can go ahead and chuck everything back into the crock pot, give it a nice mix with your spices, and you are good to go. We are not shy around here with the garlic. And on top of the brown sugar, I also add a little bit of maple syrup just for some extra sweetness. And if you guys are ready for the secret ingredient for the best tasting fall chili, that would be cinnamon. I am not kidding just a tiny dash it makes this so tasty I'm seriously not exaggerating when I say if you are a sweet potato lover and a chili lover and you've never tried a recipe like this do it it is one of my family's favorite recipes it's I just can't say enough about it Okay, so the last thing I'm bringing to you guys today is bacon-wrapped 
barbecue meatloaf muffins. This is a new favorite for our family. These came out so tasty. They were so easy to make and we all loved them. All you're really going to need for this is your typical meatloaf ingredients, which is your ground beef, your bacon, and then in place of the ketchup and other things you might add to a normal meatloaf, you are going to use barbecue, a little bit of Worcestershire, and then your typical onions, maybe a little bit of Parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs, and that is it. So you'll all have to let me know if you can relate to this next thing that I'm gonna say. So normally when I make meatloaf, we all fight over who's gonna get the end piece of the meatloaf. That's my favorite piece of a meatloaf, but that's also my daughter's favorite piece and my husband's favorite piece, and there aren't three ends. So our favorite part about this recipe is that each mini muffin, you are getting an end piece of the meatloaf. Okay, so basically I'm just going through and lining each muffin tin with the bacon around the edge and then you will take your meatloaf mixture and stuff it in the middle and spoon your barbecue on top and that is all there is to it. And something I will say is I think the next time that I make these, what I'll do is bake them for a little while like this and then take them out and put them onto a rack so that they are able to get the bacon on the outside a little bit crispy. We still loved them though, but that was 
The only thing that I would have a complaint about is I would want the bacon more crispy around the edges. And also another suggestion, make sure you put a cookie sheet with some tinfoil lined on it underneath this pan so that in case any of the grease leaks out, it doesn't go into the bottom of your oven. So I'm going to go ahead and say this was another successful meal prep. I had tried the bagels as well as the chili before, but I had never tried the pumpkin version of those bagels, and I have never tried these barbecue meatloaf muffins. All of which were very tasty and I'm sure will be staples in our home for many years to come. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you will join me next week for more meal motivation. Next week is going to continue our fall theme and it will be all about the apples. Thank you.